Good morning everyone, Mike here for an early start today. And even though I got a lot of stuff that I gotta do today, cars are obviously always the number one priority. So we are gonna go drop off the Z06 for its first modification. Now it's a nice little 30 minute drive up there. So let's go ahead, get to it. All right, so we just rolled up to the shop here and the Corvette is now in that garage bay where this big modification is going to be happening. And because of maybe some of the people that you've seen around or I don't know or whatever, but many astute viewers will probably already know what's happening to that car in there based on the surroundings and where we're at. But uh, for the people that don't know, it's gonna be a big surprise. And all I can say is it's gonna be absolutely epic. Oh, and it's my faithful brother and companion, Nick Wright. Oh, hey, buddy. Dude. In my introduction, I said you were my brother. Better so now get it's. This on camera. So what? I was driving here. Yeah. <clears throat> and of course, this stupid ass infotainment system disconnected <laughs> from my phone. So I was like, I was like doing this. Yeah. I look up, and a big ass carpet flies and hits the front of my car. A carpet? Doing like 65 miles an hour. A carpet? Way. Yeah. Right there. I don't know, dude. Is that like scratched or is it like wipeable? What the hell, man? It was from a PennDOT like, road work. From a PennDOT road work. You can't drive well, anywhere in this goddamn state. Yeah, it's not stuck. <laughs> that would be funny, bro. Yeah, I mean, we can do a vector drawing or something like that. This is the area. It doesn't want to break up. We could actually, for now, you know, just. Poor Nick comes to pick me up and his car, of course, gets hit by a fucking flying carpet at 60 miles an hour. Yeah, freaking Aladdin. Goddamn Aladdin on his carpet over here. <laughs> All right, well, there she goes. She's in the garage and we're going home. What do you think, buddy? Well, well what are you going to see her next? How long is it going to take? Dude, it's going to, should be done, the car should be done on Wednesday, so it's not going to be too long. It's only going to be two days, but it's going to be a long time to leave her, man. Hey, I'm about to leave my car. Well, we'll talk about it then. Yeah, we we want to get that on, on video. Home, we'll talk about it. All right, buddy. We're going <laughs> to we'll talk. We'll have a good conversation about Nick's car on the way home. It really it really is hard to leave it, honestly. Like, you know, it, it's kind of sucks leaving it for a couple days. So, how are you going to feel? You're dropping off your ZO your ZL1 when everything with Chevy is Z's, god damn it. You get it mixed up. Z06, Z71, ZR1. Yeah. <clears throat> if I can get my part, I have a few parts that I need to buy. If I can get it by Friday, I'm going to drop it off Friday. But yeah, I'm gonna drop it off Friday. Then he's gonna start it Monday next week. And he said it's gonna take almost almost an entire week. So yeah. It's a pretty substantial <laughs> modification. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so dude, I'm gonna be without my car all weekend and a pretty much Yeah, this ass hat today texts me, we're all set to go to GM Nationals. I signed up, I got my thing ready, we're all ready to go. And then this guy texts me this morning, by the way, I can't make it to GM Nationals with my car, but I'll come with you. <laughs> Fuck you, Nick. <laughs> Give you a little insight into Nick's uh, life here. This is how he drives around on an absolutely regular basis with about zero gas in, doing pulls the whole time. Weight reduction, bro. Weight re <laughs> that guy's got a leaf blower. Yeah. Yeah, why don't you blow some it's rocks like around? Fucking stones. Why don't you God. blow some rocks around while people's cars are driving through a tunnel? That's great. That is a great example of the kind of work that they do here in Pennsylvania. I'm gonna use a leaf blower 
to blow some stones at people as they're driving through a really small closed area. So Nick, let's talk about this. What exactly is gonna be done to your car? Let's just go through the specifics real quick. Okay. So obviously the, the biggest part and the part that's gonna make the car sound amazing is the cam. So I'm gonna get a Lunati cam. Um, I don't know the exact specs of the cam because I'm not that tech savvy with cars, but I can tell you that it's very comparable to the Brian Tooley Racing Stage 2 cam, which is what I was gonna get, but the guy that's gonna do my car uh, recommended Lunati because the parts are better and uh, it's a custom grind cam. It will actually give me a little more low end like torque curve oh, so yeah. than, a, than a Brian Tooley cam. Um, and the other stuff that I'm getting, uh, like just, just pretty much full bolt on as much as I can do. So an upper pulley, smaller upper pulley, a bigger lower pulley, um, obviously fuel injectors. Um, I'm going to replace oh, yeah. Uh, the heat exchanger in the car uh, because the stock heat exchanger is great for the car as is but anytime you raise the boost it's going to create a lot more heat and it just can't handle it so I had to uh, get a bigger and better heat exchanger I'm going with an AFCO because it has dual fans on it too and then obviously I'm just you know gonna get a new belt uh, an HD green belt so it's gonna be a really good belt and I'm getting, I'm replacing the isolator and the supercharger because these isolators, the stock ones are known to rattle and make noise because they're spring, like it's like a spring design. I'm replacing it with a solid coupler so it won't make any noise. And I might even gain like a half pound of boost with it. I'm not really sure though. What do you expect to make after this? I mean, I think with a cam alone. I expect to. I expect like a hundred wheel. Dude, yeah, I feel like I feel like that's gonna make be making some yeah. serious gains. That's yeah, what I feel it, it like. Hopefully, dude, hopefully it'd be it, I would be happy with six fifty, like you know what I mean? Six fifty would be like wheel horsepower would be great. <laughs> six fifty wheel horsepower. Needless to say, he's doing a lot to this car. It's already insanely fast. I mean, you guys have seen the videos of this racing the Hellcat, which, you know, it was keeping up with the Hellcat as it is, which is already one of the fastest stock cars out there that you can buy. And, you know, it's just gonna get even more ridiculous. I mean, I just, he's got drag radials now, so it's just getting better and better here yeah. in the ZL1. Of course, you guys, most of you guys do know Nick by now, but I will put his channel info in the description. So definitely follow him if you haven't already. He's gonna be doing all kinds of build stuff. What, this this weekend, I'm gonna be dropping you off, yep. right? So right. we're gonna be doing some more videos <laughs> to come on, obviously, and on his channel as well. So it's gonna be a fun process seeing this thing become an even bigger monster than it already obviously is. All right guys, so I'm back at home here and Nick just dropped me off and as you can see, no Corvette in the garage, which is a pretty sad, pretty sad little sight. You know, no no yellow Corvette in here. Almost makes you want to cry, but um, I'm really excited about this mod. It's gonna be awesome. I know a lot of people probably have an idea as to what it is, but even if you know what the mod itself is, you don't know what it's gonna look like, and it's gonna be absolutely nuts. Like I said, it's gonna be crazy. Like I said, one of the craziest Z06s you're gonna see, I think, out there. So it's it's gonna be incredible, and I'm really excited for it, and it should be just a couple of days away. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe, take care, have a great day. It's a goddamn Tesla out there, <laughs> there he goes. God damn it, motherfucker, we'll get him eventually. There he is, look, he stopped. He stopped in the middle of the road. That's exactly something the Tesla would do.